Penmu has absolutely exploded onto the scene, advertising simply unbeatable prices on everything from fashion and furnishings to tools and technology. And you guys have been demanding a video. All right, but going into this, I had some pretty serious doubts. Eight bucks for an RGB CPU cooler? $13 for a mechanical gaming keyboard? This feels like somebody bought Wish.com from Wish.com. I mean, is this stuff even gonna show up in the mail? <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. And if you've been watching for any length of time, you're gonna know what comes next. My team bought everything from components to peripherals to this from Temu, showed me none of it, and now I get to build the ultimate Temu gaming setup. Well, you'll try. Try, yes, I will try. To tell you about our sponsor, but I'll fail because we're not gonna have one of those cutaway sponsor things because see, Sonic was like, oh yeah, I want a piece of that. We're gonna be using their power supply, but that doesn't actually ruin the whole concept because one of the first things that we discovered when we were shopping on Temu is that their internal PC components are pretty limited and the things that they do sell seem to kind of change out really fast. Like you won't find any motherboards, processors, or GPUs, but for RAM and storage, we found a good handful of options, starting with this eight gigabyte stick of DDR4 from Super Here. They're not there. They are super here. This is kind of nice to see. Gotta protect those connectors. These are supposedly SK Hynix chips. They are laser engraved rather than screen printed, so there is a solid chance that those are real. But at a price of $25, I'm feeling a little ripped off. Thankfully, JE has got us taken care of here with the iMemory 1, compatible with DDR3, DDR4, and DDR5. Oh, look at that! It even includes a little screwdriver. You know what? This actually feels pretty good. Oh, that's a little crooked. Is that actually metal? Oh yeah, it's metal. Actually, oh, that might not be a good thing. This does not feel like aluminum. It feels like steel. Well, <laughs> it's okay. Our RAM doesn't run that hot anyway. Super here, not super heat. This is kind of cool though. I've seen heat spreaders both aftermarket and even from brands that don't have any way to center the dim. But this is great. It just kind of sits in these little notches here and doesn't go anywhere. Perfect for a single sided dim. Oh, okay. This is just from our inventory. We're gonna gloss over this. It's an Asus tough board with a Ryzen 5600X. Like I said, no CPUs. No motherboards. But, oh wow. The Durlar PCIe NVMe AES encrypted data protection. And we got a PCIe adapter so that I can put it in a PCIe slot for some reason. All right, cool. I think I would not do that part. Oh, I'm using it. I'm using everything you hand me. All right. Stop handing <laughs> it, babe. All right, we're done, that's it. It's 512 gigs. It's got speed holes in the end. Oh, no, those are probably diagnostic uh, probe points, but they are holes. Realtek controller, no DRAM cache, but realistically, were we expecting one? We were not. Now it's time to install this on my little carrier card, assuming that I can figure out how to do that. You see, it comes with this, but then it's already parallel with the board without it. I just put the screw in, and I guess I just didn't need the other thing, so that's in now. But, but, I'm not done yet. I get to assemble my own PCIe bracket. It's a plastic one. Now, are those not supposed to serve some kind of grounding function to the case? I mean, the board itself certainly has uh, grounding points on it. All right. Also, that completely ignores the whole EMI element of having all metal at the back of your chassis. Also true. In goes the RAM. It's so thick. Do we have any other DDR4 lying around? What's wrong with this one? Well, you see, my dear cameraman, the Grinchy Linus lied. There's a ram on this board that's too wide on one side. <laughs> oh, barely. If you had a thicker spreader on another module, um, then yes, it could be potentially a problem. And it wouldn't be a problem if you used all JE spreaders 
because they would all stick off in the same direction. So it'd be like that. The next thing we're gonna check out is the Do You DIY Mainframe Desktop USB 3. Mainframe? Oh, it's so cute! It's pink! It's probably not the best value case I've ever had for $75, but it's adorable. I mean, look at this fan filter. And the print quality is actually really good. And some very cheap PCI cutouts. You can totally see here, this case was painted as part of an after the fact process. There's little mist bits and stuff. Wow. There is nothing included in terms of accessories. I don't even see, only one of these PCI slots has a screw. Oh, okay, because it's got one of those one piece screw down the whole thing ones. That is a not very good mechanism. I guarantee you that's the sort of thing that exists, not because it's a better user experience and you know, fewer screws in and out, but because the cost of this folded piece of sheet metal and one screw is less than the cost of seven screws. Oh no, the case is rusting. Look, you can see the paint puffing off and you can see the rust stain coming through it. Oh, I need a cooler before I put this in. Oh no. Wow, that is really not very heavy. Tishrick CPU cooler. Okay, classic flower design where they mash together all the fins so hard that they kind of join and then they machine the bottom. Confidence inspiring. Curiously, even though it says LGA 1700 support on the box, it's based on a design that is so old that it's kind of AMD first mounting. Like this is designed to go on like an old AM2 board or something like that. And then you just have a bracket that helps adapt Intel sockets for it. Anyway, we're not going Intel. So hopefully I can just put this directly on the board. Include any thermal count. Oh. Wow, this was never a good system. Hey, hey, but it's on there. I feel cooler already. Wait, you've got one more motherboard accessory. Oh, what'd I miss? It's an RGB 24 pin right angle connector. This is just a little bit of RGB accent right there. This is clever though. They are apparently taking power from the 24 pin so they only need two pins for RGB to go back to a three pin RGB header. Cute. Sure hope you don't have too much more of this stuff because the cable management in this case, not primo. Oh wow, okay. All the front fans are just a big old chain of Molex. <laughs> also there's an extra one. What the hell purpose does this serve? Do I get to make my team you work? joke about Jordan and I doing the cabling together. Just do you yeah. all pretend like I haven't heard it before? No, that was it. That was it, I made the joke. Oh. Team you work. We, we did the cabling <laughs> together. Anyway, Jordan found a problem. We were trying to plug in our front panel USB 3 and realized that um, our little right angle extension on the 24 pin is making it so it doesn't fit. Oh, there's so many cables coming off of it. Fantastic. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Whoa, 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 oh, oh, shoot. I saw the $75 price. I thought it was this fan for a second. <laughs> it's one hell of a fan. $9. Much less bad, especially considering it has one of those cool RGB infinity mirrors in the front. Freedom in technology. Freedom in life. A truly noble pursuit indeed. Now a short break from our Temu meme products where we'll be installing our Seasonic Focus plus 750 gold. There weren't any power supplies on Temu, so this makes as much sense as anything to use in here. It comes with a 10 year warranty, features 80 plus gold efficiency. It's got a modular interface. And of course, it's made by Seasonic. So it's super quiet and very reliable. There were no GPUs either. So we're using this MSI Ventus 3060. We had some problems, but overall, not bad. It's kind of cute, right? Ooh, oh good. The E242 from Epason. At $130 for a 24 inch 1080p 75 hertz monitor, it's not even competitively priced compared to the scepters of the world. Or realistically, it's not even that much cheaper than a Samsung or an LG. Or is it even cheaper? They say it's 50% off though at that price. Ah! Why do we need a Payson? Wow, VGA in. 
No display port? Just HDMI and VGA, that's it. And my favorite, rear facing speakers. Also, there are no actual drivers behind them, so I don't think it has any speakers. Just, just grills. Ah. Wow, that is a very wimpy looking power adapter for a monitor and a very short cable. Completely toolless setup though. Now things are about to get really interesting. This is the Yindiao K500 Gamer Ready Mechanical Wired Keyboard. $13. I mean, there are mechanical things about it, right? Like it. You know, but that is clearly a rubber dome membrane switch. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, it is not curved. Look, it's straight, but even under its tiny weight, it is so thin that it will curve if I hold it at one end. Whoa. That is something. They literally just had the keycaps on here, blasted it with blue paint, and then Whatever doesn't get hit, doesn't get hit. Now for the AJAZZ AJ120 gaming mouse. Three million button lifetimes. I guess they mean probably clicks. Yeah. Up to 8,000 DPI, I doubt it. Looks pretty cool though. General Grievous if he was a children's toy. Actually, yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, did you match these on purpose? Of course. Wow, they even kind of like go with the theme of the case? A little bit. Oh my God. I yes, don't know if this matches what we were doing quite as much. Oh, come on, it matches. But I do love it. Only $7 and it's compatible with various types of games. <laughs> there, oh, sick. And there's no repetition to the pattern either. These are all different and unique cats. If you do need more mousing surface, we did get you a proper mouse pad as well. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. This can be my keyboard pad and... and there you are, sir. Why do I feel like this desk pad design is available with different artwork on it? That is not what pectoral muscles look like. <laughs> It is like tucking my wrist into the bosom of a well-endowed anime character. <laughs> I wouldn't describe it as pleasant, actually. Of course you're gonna to wanna to stream from your new setup. Of course I will. And how would I do so without an HD USB webcam? You can video call, live stream, and teleconference. Wow, with privacy protection. Nice. Oh, wow. This is coming together. We've got a whole like streaming setup here. Well, we're just getting started. Okay, oh. Nope. I'm Mary Poppins. Oh wait, she goes up or down? I think both. What am I looking at? Good Lord, there's two streaming them. lights. Oh, good. Wow, different colors and everything. And only $11. I am legit kind of impressed. They say, a thousand lumens. Yeah. Are we ready to power this on? Yeah, let's fire it up. Hey! Oh, let's go. Wow, that RGB. This fan looks super cool though. Actually, the ones on the front look pretty good too. It's um, oh, not bad, Temu. Did the not 24 bad. pin thing work? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's rgb and it's doing stuff. Oh, hey! Yay. We've got power on. What about the lights though? Wow. Whoa! Wow, okay. I mean, $11. Okay, Andy, you got the thing? He's yeah, got, the, got thing. the thing. Okay, uh, I don't know how to use the thing. Uh, so that's a measurement of our filming light. Right okay. now is CRI 96.9. Basically, nice. that means that the light levels of all the different colors of the spectrum are very even and balanced, and it's basically white. Especially for the red channel, a lot of the LED light failed at producing like red channel. So. Okay, so now I just go like this. Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, no red, oh my God. Wow, actually no red. What that means then is that the flesh tones of people like me who have actually quite a lot of red in their skin will look 
pretty unnatural. Maybe there's a solution for this. Uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna be the way to go. <laughs> but hey, they are adjustable. The keyboard works, mouse works. The heck is Panram? That's not the brand I thought I bought. At least it has a brand. Our storage drive doesn't. A bigger concern for me though is our CPU temps. We are at 69 degrees Celsius, which no, in fact, is not nice right now. We're not doing anything. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you have about four cents of aluminum <laughs> sitting on your CPU. Hit me with some more stuff, Jordan. Obviously you're gonna need a mic if you're gonna stream. Yan may I will. It's seen some better days, but you know, it should still work. Hey, it's RGB though. Of course it is. Based on the results we got in our recent video where pretty much every USB mic was like fine, same as every other USB mic. This might be just fine. Oh, that is um, not confidence inspiring. Is this a dual layer pop filter though? It totally is. The pop filter is by far the most impressive thing about this microphone. Um, nice background. Oh, 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 wow. Thank you. The RGB changes color. That's a big difference from the USB mics we checked out recently. However, the price is a problem at $30. Uh, this is not the greatest bundle. Hey, 75 Hertz though, does it work? Hey! hey. You also have the option of a headset. Ooh, the Onikuma, I've heard of this. That's a lie. What am I about to find in here? Yeah, let's go. These are the best part of it. I could put these on any headphones now. Yep. Oh, I'm keeping these. Also, David, can I just point out how awesome this guy looks with his General Grievous head? You know, not the crappiest foam I've ever felt. It's up there. And definitely not the crappiest boom mic uh, adjustment mechanism I have ever encountered. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How do I look? Kawaii. <laughs> Oh, they have RGB. Are they? Ooh, okay. This actually looks really cool. There's actually a better way to store your headphones. Oh wow, the headphone stand with ADD ambience and Color the Wonderful. <laughs> Hollow out light like a vast starry sky. That is really cheap construction. Um, the only problem now is that I don't see the RGB. Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Wow, that's a lot of colors. Whoa, oh, oh, hey, it's got effects too. Sick. Okay, yeah. that's gonna be the one. That's the ADD ambience. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the ADD ambience. We're almost done with RGB. Okay. One more piece. Yes. JH light bar. This goes under your monitor. Like on the bottom edge. That is actually a stupid place to put a light bar. A little bit. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> this isn't even a light bar like, you know, Andy has that light above his monitor or something, something contrast. Oh no, Andy, you're not gonna like this one. Okay. It seems to be sound activated. Here you go. <laughs> oh, not even a little distracting. Uh, C is different colors and M is multicolor. Hey, there you go. And then music is sound activated. Oh, and there's different sound activated ones. Okay, that's slightly less annoying. Let's go with this one. No, it's annoying, so. Are we missing anything or are we ready to game and stream? You don't have to plug them in, but you might need normal speakers. Hey, desktop speaker. They're supposed to be Lenovo. What? Leku is a smart retail enterprise invested by Lenovo Group. They are cute. I will give them that. We've got a couple more things before you're allowed to game. Oh my God, there's more? We bought out all of Teemu. Oh. You know, backups are important. So we got your external hard drive. Oh, good. 320 gigs. And from KPAN, the most trusted of brands. Before you did. Oh, crap. Oh, it's a hard drive. I, oh it, it hit my foot. It hit my foot right before it hit the ground. Oh, USB-C, look at that. How much you want to bet this is a refurbished hard drive in here? Uh, I'm out of USB ports. Well, no, I have banana. a decorative hard drive. 
We bought you a banana for a reason. And then just in case you get tired of your mouse pad. Oh my gosh, we're not done yet. We did get you some options for different wrist rests. Oh, wow. Whoops. Okay. Dang it. I'm actually kind of digging this cat cloud keyboard vibe. This Oh, this is a wearable wrist rest. Yep. Oh, and there's a kitty. He's so squishy. He's so squishy. Oh. Ah, I need to hear these speakers first. Are they plugged in? Oh, they are, Whoa, they have RGB. Oh my God. All right. This is nitpicky, but look at where the RGB is compared to the driver. I know. I know. I immediately saw it and was immediately bothered by it. Ah. Oh no. I forgot. You need a chair. What? Oh no. Are you kidding me? Now, they were only selling covers for gaming chairs. I see. So we got you what we thought was a full size chair. Uh huh. But actually, but, it's Linus size? It's Linus sized, actually. Oh no. Might be a little short for this setup. They never pass up an opportunity to emasculate me. You know what? This webcam is far from the worst webcam that I've ever seen. How much is this thing again? That was really cheap. 11, yeah. Really? Even with these strong backlights behind it, like this is very serviceable. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a, that is a trippy effect. When I'm in front of the light and the band gets blown out. Anyway, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of give up on this mic. I think I think that one's done. Okay, so I've got a I've got my streaming set up. Here, I guess I'm in the corner now. Uh, display capture, this is not working. There we go. Is that water sound or static? We're not sure. It's actually a lot better than I expected. They're not great, but like... Like 12 bucks, I think? Yeah, for $12 or whatever. <laughs> what happened to my attempt to launch Doom Eternal? Oh, you know what? That may actually be our problem right now. These DRAM cacheless drives, especially if they're using low quality NAND, can be so slow when you're doing multiple things at once, they're actually worse than using a hard drive. And you can see, I'm trying to get Task Manager open so I can show if the drive is pinned at 100% usage and if the response time is super long. Uh, but I think I've kind of made my point. Um, it's not the CPU or the motherboard, I'll tell you that much. I think I know what's going on. Plugged into a USB 3 port, but maybe the quality of this cabling is not very good. And I think our poor drive is getting very confused here. Let's plug it into a rear USB 3 port and see if we have a little bit more luck here. Okay, I think we found a quality issue with our case here. All of a sudden the game is updating and yet we are not seeing 100% usage. Cool. Not a huge fan of our 70 degree CPU temps at uh, 10% usage. Okay, here we go. Yep. And crashed. Oh, we ran out of RAM. Maximum memory usage, 96%. Yeah, that makes sense. Just like it makes sense to tell you how whatever problems we're having are definitely not the fault of Seasonic, who makes great quality products. Uh, and sponsored this video. Hey, thanks Seasonic for allowing us to explore this. I don't you, hate it. You're truly doing God's work. In fairness to Temu, there are some values to be had here. These, kind of outstanding. Actually, let's go back to OBS for a second here because I haven't even cranked them. Hey, uh, Jordan, wanna, wanna, wanna crank them? Crank the lights, yeah. Yeah, give this webcam a shot. The webcam looks pretty good. Yeah, the webcam looks pretty good, but it could probably use a little bit more light. I mean, it's, the skin tones aren't right, but it's smooth, it's pretty crisp looking. Uh, you know what, actually? It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what? We're doing the gel. It's pretty usable. Speakers. They sound like crap, but they look kind of cool and they sound better than I expected. RGB fan, super cool. Nine bucks, looks great, but far from the loudest thing in this system. Case seems to be a piece of crap. 
most of it's junk, but all of it was worth it because now I am the proud owner of this desk pad. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, maybe go check out the All Wish PC. It was uh, similarly ridiculous.